Welcome to Edumon Tutorials. My name is Srinathya and I am going to be teaching Engineering Drawing, ED. In this subject, we have 9 units. They are Introduction, Curves, Projection of Points, Projection of Straight Lines, Projection of Planes, Projection of Solids, Projection of Section of Solids, Development of Surfaces and Isometric Views. In Unit 1, Introduction, the subtopics are Lines, Lettering and Dimensioning, Geometrical Constructions, Introduction to Scales. Before we get started with Unit 1, let me give you an introduction to the subject. Although it might seem like a new subject, we have already done geometrical constructions in previous classes in school. Recall the geometrical constructions that we did, but without caring much about the thickness of the lines, the standards, the dimensioning, scales, etc. However, it, at this level of study, we are going to study those geometrical constructions again, but while giving attention to scales, standards, convention, thickness of lines, etc. Engineering drawing is the universal language of engineers. Lines, symbols and conventions are used in engineering drawing. Each of these lines, symbols and conventions have a definite purpose and a sense to convey. Engineering drawing is the representation of thinking and planning. It has applications in areas of mechanical, electrical, electronics, marine, computers and instrumentation, aeronautical, etc. For example, in uh, civil and uh, architecture, the buildings and structures Top view and front view is represented using engineering drawing. In this uh, unit, we will study about lines, letters and numerals, that is numbers, and one of the most important aspect of engineering drawing, that is dimensioning. Before we go to the first topic in unit 1, let us quickly take a look at the basic tools required to get started with engineering drawing. Firstly, you will be needing a mini drafter, which looks like this. You'll also be needing a drawing board. This is the drawing board that I'm using. You can also use a flat surface uh, at your home or, an, or any wooden board. Next, you will be requiring uh, some chart papers, uh, then pins or tape to secure the chart papers on the board. Then you will be requiring pencils. Uh, that is, you'll be needing a, a dark pencil, a medium pencil and a light pencil. I have used HB, 2H and 4H. You can use uh, the pencils as your teacher recommends. You'll also be needing a clean eraser and a compass. To make your drawings even more precise and clean, you can use set squares, erasing shields, pro circles and French curves, etc. How the drafter is used and fitted, uh, I will explain in later videos where we'll actually be using the drafter. For now, let us look into the first topic of unit one. That is lines, different type of basic lines. The first one is thick continuous. Uh, this is drawn using the HB pencil. As the name suggests, it is thick continuously. Then we have thin continuous. As the name suggests again, it is thin continuously and it is drawn using the 2H pencil, that is the medium pencil. Then we have the hidden or the dotted line, which is again represented using the HB pencil, the dark pencil. This line is used for representing the hidden edges of a solid um, that is not visible in any view. Next we have axis line. The axis line is the line that passes through the center of the solid. It's basically the axis of the solid. It is represented using 2H or 4H pencil again. For better understanding, let me represent the HB line using a sketch pen and the 2H line with a normal pen so that uh, in case this is not visible you can understand so if if this is the HB line then the corresponding 2H line should look like this as you can see this is more darker than this and it's more thicker than this and this is more lighter than this Next, the hidden line. Uh, let me write the dimensions. That is 2mm line, 1mm gap, 
2 mm line, 1 mm gap. So this is again drawn using the HP pencil. So let me just draw it using the sketch pen for you guys. That is. And it follows. Next, coming to the axis line, this line is again drawn either using a 2H or a 4H. Uh, that is a line similar to this. So, I'll be using this pen. That is 6mm line, 1mm gap, 2mm line, 6mm gap, 6mm line, sorry, 1mm gap, 2mm line, 1mm gap, 6mm. And it follows. So your axis line should look something like this. Just for clarification, these lines are actually not represented using the pens. This is just for understanding purposes. Going to dimensioning lines. That is this. Let us assume that uh, this line that I've drawn that is dark is, a, is an object uh, whose measurement is 100. Um, so as you can see the object line is represented using the HB pencil that is the thick continuous line as we discussed and to dimension it we take help of extension lines that is these lines here this and this and this line which is actually the dimension line it has arrowheads at its end this extension line uh, can be from 8 to 10 mm and the dimension line uh, has to be above uh, at least 7 mm from the HB line. That is the distance between the object and the dimension line has to be 7 mm or it can be a little more. And this represents the measurement which is again written using an HB pencil but we'll talk about uh, writing numbers and letters in later videos. Coming to the arrowheads. That is the arrowheads uh, that are used in dimensioning. Uh, on the dimension lines these arrowheads have a certain standard that is they have to be in the ratio of 3 to 1 that is the length of the arrowhead to the width of the arrowhead should be in the ratio 3 to 1 that is it can be 3 mm length 1 mm width or it can be also 6 to 2 but 6 to 2 arrowheads generally become very big so we uh, use 3 to 1 uh, the arrowhead has to be completely filled, uh, but it shouldn't be uh, as dark as the HP. If you look closely here, uh, as you can see the arrowhead, I've done it with the 2 edge. It is completely filled, but it is not as dark as the HB pencil. For better understanding, I will. Let us take a look at this example to identify the different types of learns, lines we learned. Don't worry about the example, this is just for uh, identifying the lines. Coming to the first line, that is the thick continuous lines. In this uh, question, the lines that stand out the most are the thick continuous lines. That is, they represent the object. So, these, these lines. So, they are drawn using the HP pencil. All the lines that are dark. Coming to the thin continuous lines, uh, they are generally drawn in 2H pencil. I have represented them using the uh, light blue lines. So dimensioning here is done using the light blue lines. It is comparatively thinner to the HB lines. That is this. These are the thick continuous lines. That is the object lines. And this green one or uh, the blue one is the thin continuous lines that is they are used for dimensioning that is it has to look like this let us now identify the hidden or the dotted lines so we have one two three four and five in this question so as i said these represent the hidden edges which are not visible in the view. Now coming to the axis line. 
these lines are comparatively thinner to the thick continuous lines so i have represented them using uh, a pen so this is the axis so you will represent this using a 2h pencil as we discussed earlier so in this video we have discussed about introduction lines and a little bit about dimensioning we will discuss the other topics in later videos thank you for watching